Hello YouTube, this is another update on my CAN bus micro gauge. CAN gauge micro, I think it is, yes. Um, as you can see here is a jumping RPM, that's because of the simulator here. It won't happen in your car. So what this code does is show you RPM, including a NeoPixel readout over here, where's my finger, over there. And as you see the NeoPixels go out, and at 6000 you have the shift light indicator, plus you have it here, where it says shift. And you have an LED, which you can set to any value, of course, that you like. That also does indicate a shift or maybe green where it shows the most power in the car where the most uh, torque is available so this is that code and uh, I also wanted to say that my hardware and software will be based on the CAN bus it will be connected to CAN high and CAN low and not like most other hardware out there that are connected to OBD2 which runs between 10.4 kilobytes per second and 41.6 kilobytes whereas the CAN bus runs with 500 kilobytes per second so it's 12 times faster than any other OBD type readout gauges out there which do have a significant lag especially if you use it over Bluetooth which adds another lag and you get a readout it's like a time machine from uh, 1 to 1.5 seconds behind so it's not the case with the hardware I'm gonna use and the codes and the libraries I'm also writing my own libraries because most libraries out there only support like four or six values and uh, the rest you're stuck I will have libraries available which can show all the data that is available on the regular uh, CAN bus stream let me say it that way so this was my RPM with the NeoPixel and the uh, LED I'm also well, let me show it to you now take this off here's my latest version of the front for the carbon fiber I was gonna let me show it on here I was gonna make it with round corners but then I figured it will look better with square or 45 degree angled corners which I do like much better so the carbon fiber will come in this shape it will have this logo it stands for CAN. I was gonna. There is no logo for CAN bus or OBD or something like that. So, and I can make it any smaller because it's gonna be milled out. So anything you see here in black, it's gonna be milled out with a one uh, millimeter drill bit, and it will have the revised PCBs will have these tiny neo pixels right on the underneath the logo so which will serve a couple of purposes first you can have it uh, as an indicator that it's on although you will see it on the display that it's on but you can have it as a shift light uh, indicator or as a warning lamp you can have it blink red if you go above a certain speed or you go above a certain threshold on temperature uh, be it uh, water temperature or oil temperature so this will this logo will start blinking or for anybody for example me it will slightly glow green when it's uh, not showing any indication and then change color of course it's a neo pixel it can change color it will show any indication there so these are gonna be made with carbon fiber real carbon fiber of course this is gonna be the back this is a hole for the wire uh, it will have a rubber uh, garment I think it's called so the wire will not rub against the carbon fiber which is uh, of course I will send it down but I don't know how, how fine I can send it inside the hole 
but so it won't chew up the wire plus it will stay put and the back you will be able to mount any position that you like if you have it uh, above your windshield for example right under the roof line you can have the wire go out the top or if you have it mounted somewhere uh, on the dash you can have the wire coming out the bottom so these are the carbon fibers i'm waiting for the company to get back at me uh, i wrote them it's been three days now i haven't heard back of them from them so i hope they will get in contact with me monday so i can order these and make it uh, this one has the code running that i wrote the changes the displays with the touch sensor which is in here and i added two more readouts i'm not able to hit this so it will have speed rpm water temperature throttle position intake air temperature and ambient air te temperature this is just an example it could be anything it could be as high as 10 readouts or even higher i don't know i haven't tried it yet so these don't show anything because my simulator is only simulating speed and rpm so that's why this is empty but it does work i did try it in the car it works beautiful and it's not going to be this deep it's going to be half as deep this is like this because i have put the uh, see here for example it will be this distance and then the sensor will be added touch sensor which makes it only 20 millimeters deep including the carbon fiber so this one has just uh, the displays plugged in with uh, male and female headers something like this so that's what makes this made this deeper than it usually will be actually it was uh this 3d pinned part which came out rather nicely um, wasn't deep enough i added this was a test run on the shape of the frame here and i just added this and while i added that since it's transparent this could also light up as an indicator so that would be maybe a neat touch Anyhow, this will only be half as deep. This is 40, it will be only 20 millimeters deep. The overall dimension of the carbon fiber is 40 by 40. I upped it from 38 to 38. This was a mock up that I made that I cut my V gauge carbon fiber out of. And um, I made it bigger. Why? Because while I was testing this in the car, I figured. Huh, it would be nice if you have a square hole and just drop this in there and have a nice uh, display because you not always have a place or room to, to put this although you can use the magnetic phone uh, cell phone holders for the windshield for example to mount these but I figured I want to go this way or have it bigger because of this so here you see you have a only a little room on the 40 by 40 you have way more that is the right one i can put it this way if i put the display on here you have way more room around it so the way i'm gonna do is i will also offer um stencils with the printable regular printable stencils it's not called stencils i don't know the word right now with the square 38 by uh, no it's a uh, yes it's no no it's 35 millimeter square cut out and uh, am i right what is the pcb by 30 i forgot i got so many numbers running in my head it's 33 by 35 so it's gonna be slightly bigger than the pcb itself so then you will be able to drop this in there and this whole thing is screwed together drop it in there put the frame around it and then screw the back on there so it's gonna be even though it's uh, inside mounted it's gonna be protected and hold in place steadily uh, plus you can add more than one next to each other as you know these are 
uh, chainable so you can and I changed the uh, in and outputs on the new PCB that I'm gonna make and you will easily be able to extend it to one two three four how many you would like uh, I tried four on here on my dash uh, simulator here on my PCB I plugged one two three in here plus a fourth here so and it works beautifully that being said I also have a gear indicator code now with the help of a friend Rob thank you very much um, let me show it to you real quick uh, this is a USB adapter. This will be not be on the final thing. This is just for me to upload code and I do that real quick here and I will change that code around a little bit. Rob put me in the right direction with that and I edited it to make it uh, work. So don't mind the RPM here. This will be anything else. Could be speed and RPM or something different but this is the main indicator for the gear so since uh, I'm simulating RPM and speed with one value here let me just go up and then go slowly down so here you see it's a very narrow band on the potentiometer but I did try it in the car and it works beautifully it does show one through five if you have more than five gears it will of course show that and this code is based on rpm speed gear ratio and final drive ratio so when you order it from me for example in the future you can tell me that data and i will upload edit the code and upload it for you and because I want this to be plug and play same here on the multi-screen display code uh, you will be able to choose what you like and I will make it for you and then you plug it in and it will work and since the OBD plug is uh, something like this the shape you cannot plug it any wrong so there is no way to hurt this whole thing by accidentally plugging it in the wrong way. So again this will all be plug and play and you will have options when you order it. And of course if you are savvy and you want to use your own code you can get a USB adapter with it. Plug it into back in the back by taking off the back of course obviously. Plug it in there and then you can upload your own code but this is it uh, for now I really do like the new shape of the carbon fiber with the slanted corners and the insides I cannot make really without losing too much space as the radius of the bit will still make a, a round section so while this is outside it can cut a real sharp corner or 90 degree or whatever the corner is but inside it won't be able to do that so i left the inside round and this way i get uh, most real, real estate on the screen so the corners won't be covered if you go all the way to the edge of the screen so this is it um if you're interested let me know i will put this up on kickstarter not Kickstarter, Indiegogo, because I do not have Kickstarter in Bulgaria. So Indiegogo is the choice I will choose. And um, as soon as I get the carbon fiber and can make the first finished product, I would put it up on Indiegogo. Um, thanks for watching if you made it this far and take care everybody.